Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Brad, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the Integrated Master Plan. What is the Integrated Master Plan, or what I call IMP? The Integrated Master Plan is an event-based, top-level plan consisting of a hierarchy of program events. Each event is decomposed into specific accomplishments and each specific accomplishment is decomposed into specific criteria. The definition of the integrated master plan is composed of a group of hierarchy program events, in which each program event is supported by accomplishment, and criteria to satisfy a specific program goal. The IMP is ultimately used to develop a time-based integrated master schedule to show a networked, multi-layered schedule showing all the detailed tasks required to accomplish the work effort contained in the IMP. The IMP and integrated master schedule are related to the work breakdown structure. The IMP provides a program manager with a systematic approach to planning, scheduling, and execution. What are the main elements of an integrated master plan? The three elements of the IMP are Event, a program assessment point that occurs at the culmination of significant program activities. Accomplishment, is the desired results prior to or at the completion of an event that indicates a level of the program's progress. And finally, criteria provides definitive evidence that a specific accomplishment has been completed. Here is an example of an integrated master schedule from the guide located on the ACT Notes webpage. In the left-hand column is the activity number for each task. In the middle column is the event, accomplishment, and criteria section. And in the right-hand column is the reference section to the work breakdown structure. What is the goal of the integrated master plan? The IMP provides insight to the program manager, contractor, and program management office which enables them to identify and assess actual progress versus planned progress, monitor the program critical path and help to develop a workaround to problem areas, assess the status of risk management activities based on the inclusion of program risk mitigation activities in the IMP and integrated master schedule, assess the progress on selected key performance parameters, key system attributes, and technical performance measures. Provide an objective, quantitative basis for the contractor's performance assessment rating and award fee. Help develop and support what-ifs exercises and identify and assess candidate problems workarounds. And finally, provide better insight into potential follow-on efforts that are not part of the original statement of work. The five steps in developing an integrated master plan are Step 1 Determine the IMP structure and organization. Step 2. Identify events, accomplishment, and criteria. Step 3. Prepare the introduction and narrative section. Step 4. Complete the numbering system. And finally, Step 5. Iterate events, accomplishments, and criteria with the integrated product team during integrated master schedule development. How the integrated master plan relates to the integrated master schedule. The IMP and Integrated Master Schedule are linked together and show that a program is adequately planned and has the potential to achieve its goals and objectives within a program's schedule and cost constraints. The IMP and IMS are valuable tools a PM can use in preparing for a request for proposal and source selection. It can serve as the basis of an offeror's proposal and evaluation criteria. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the Integrated Master Plan. For more information visit the webpage which includes a guide to help in the development of your IMP. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.